This is a brief tutorial on how to get custom colors in Desmos. When graphing in Desmos, you get a default color like this blue. If we long click on that blue, you can see the other default colors, red, green, orange, and so on. But sometimes you may want a different color. There's a couple different ways to customize. The first one we'll look at uses RGB. First, we'll create a variable, call it, for example, C1. And we'll give it an RGB value, that's red, green, and blue. If you know the color you want, for example, red would be 255 for red, zero green, and zero blue, you can simply just type in the numbers and get the custom color. Now, when we long click on that orange, we can see that our custom color is now there and we can see that brighter red pop out and to make this a little bit easier to see i'm going to change this equation to an inequality so that it covers the full screen so i'm going to again choosing that red and i'm going to fill it with one so we can make that brightness pop out a little more if you're not sure what those values are we can create variables or G and B, click all, and Desmos will automatically give you sliders from 0 to 255 for R, G, and B. Again, red would have been 255. If you want green, we could pull the red back down to 0 and pull the green up to 255. And we can play around with those sliders to get other custom colors depending on what you're looking for. An alternate way to get a custom color is, again, create a variable, call it C2, and HSV, that's hue, saturation, and value. Again, we're going to create some variables to play around with. Notice it will automatically give you hue from 0 to 360, and then the saturation and value go from 0 to 1. The saturation is basically how washed out or grayed out the color is. And somewhat similar, the value is how dark or bright it is, again, from 0 to 1. Typically, I like to have saturation and value all the way up to 1. And notice I now have that bright red again. So I'm going to change this color back to my custom 2. Notice that the saturation gets more grayed out the lower we go to zero. And then the darkness or brightness, one is bright, zero is dark. And the hue changes the color. So hue goes from red through the color spectrum and back to red at 360. So you can play around with that hue to see exactly what color you're looking for. One helpful tool that Desmos has created is this color wheel. It helps explain the HSV values a little more. Again, the hue is the color on the 360 wheel. Again, zero goes over to the red. Saturation to one and value to one will give us that brighter color. And we can play around with the wheel. to see different colors. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any other Desmos questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and I may get a chance to make a video on that as well.